Hello YouTube, what is up? This is Kumar Mark being another video and today I want to do a little overview on the COD mobile settings app. So I know you guys have probably seen um, what people can do in the settings, but let me just go over this, what I personally do. Um, so it's kind of just going over all my settings. Like I said, this is subject to change. Um, if I feel that a setting is better for me in the future, I'll probably update that in the description down below. But this is just my settings video um, for me and kind of what works well for me and kind of some tips and tricks on how to improve your FPS, how to improve your gameplay um, for you personally and kind of what would work well for different types of people. So we're going to start off with the controls in the very left. Obviously, you can see here there's an advanced mode. There's a customized um, um, advanced mode that you can customize. And there's a simple mode that is a little more simple. I would recommend going to the advanced mode even if you are a beginner because it allows you for more customization. So I always tap custom here and then clicking this cog wheel, you can see um, what it will do when you press the fire button. So I have all my tip to hit fire except for the sniper rifle because the sniper rifle very infrequently am I going to try and be hit fire with that i'm going to try and be scoping in and trying to get those quick scopes or drag scopes um or you know hard scopes with that sniper rifle as far as the other guns like the assault rifle the smg i'm probably going to be rushing in so i'm going to probably going to be hit firing and it's going to be closer range um weaponry in fights so that's kind of why i do that and then in terms of customized layout this is my layout right here if you guys want to take a screenshot of this um this is something that i do myself um something that i just you know appreciate for myself so i can keep track of everything and this is how i like to function i like to put my shoot button on the left and then my scope shoot button on the right just so I can differentiate better my aim buttons on the top right where my pointer finger would be my reload button as well as all my other buttons here I actually like it to set everything to 50 opacity um, generally speaking I know there's some lack of consistency there within my things but that's something I just like to try and keep as uniform as possible around 50 so I, I realize that not everything's at 50 now so I'm gonna try and change all these um, as much as possible but obviously most of you probably already know that you whatever works for you works for you um, so there's certain things I like to keep at 100 like the health bar so I can see that at all times but things like the emote I put in the very middle of the screen just because it allows me to kind of have like a reticle in the middle so when you're quick scoping sniping it allows for good um, kind of a good uh, I don't know what's it called a good way to gauge where your shots are going to be landing without actually having that dot that reticle in the middle um so i really appreciate that that's from hawksness i actually learned that from his video and you guys should all try that as well if that's something you enjoy i like to put my sprinting as close as possible so i don't have to move my thumb as much and then the throw grenade back i don't really need to use that one as much so i'm going to put that down below um and then obviously you can see here the emotes um or the the volume for the in-game stuff and then the settings is something that i put on the right side the map i put on the top right because that's just what i'm used to in game and then the scoreboard is something i put in the top left oh sorry about my phone going off there um but right here we can see here just this is how I like to play. Like I said, it's not gonna work for everyone. So if you like to play two thumbs, uh, you might not want to put your, you know, second shoot button where mine is. You might want to put it where your right thumb is or your left thumb is. Um, if you play like th six fingers, I play four fingers with the claw mod. Um, so if you play six fingers, some people, you know, prefer different variations of that and depending on how you hold it. So I like to actually hold my um, iPad when I play it. Some people like to put it like flat on their um, table. Some people like to actually put it on their knees. Some people like to lie down when they play. Some people like to sit up when they play. Uh, some people like to play cross-legged. So all different types of variations. I would recommend um, trying to see which one works best for you as far as how that goes um, and just trying to experiment with you know what is most comfortable for you what is something that you prefer that allows you to play as freely as you can so br mode something i don't really play as much it's almost the exact same thing i just customize um, my backpack my meds my grenades as well and i don't really play this one as much like i said so there's not as much going on here um, but that's kind of it as far as that uh, discard that I guess you could say um, so here we're gonna go to the basic I'd like to have aim assist on just because it helps me with my sniping I know maybe I'm a noob but it does help me and I appreciate that um, quick run from prone it allows me to do that easier fire fixed R rate I actually don't even know what that means to be entirely honest um, but uh, yeah <laughs> um the fast throw grenade i don't like to do that because you can cock the grenade and um actually you know time when you're going to throw that and then the joystick auto sprint like i said that one's a pretty nice feature to have i don't like to have a fixed joystick because my left thumb does not actually really do anything with that 
Um, I, you know, sometimes it moves off to different places, so having a fixed joystick would not help me. Um, for ADS, I like to tap to ADS just because uh, that's what I'm used to, like I said, in games. So um, I don't like holding it. I think it restricts my aiming movement, so that's what I don't like it there. Display the left fire button. That's good for me because, you know, I have one button that's um, for aiming and shooting and one that's just for shooting. So, um, for instance, if I want to hit a no-scope with the sniper, that's what I'd use that one for slide. I like to have that tap while sprinting just because that's what I'm used to as well. The always sprint. Um, depending on if you're like sprinting or playing aggressive, um, that's just once again preference to your um, play style. So if you like to play pretty back, you probably don't want to always be sprinting and probably want to turn that sensitivity down. I like to be a little more aggressive, so I put mine up to 60. Uh, I think it's default 60 to 65, but it's whatever you choose. Gyroscope, I try to have that off because I like to have some consistency within my shots. Um, but I have it on for PUBG Mobile, so it's honestly preference, whatever you feel like. I could probably enable it and then see how I play, but currently I don't have it on because I don't think it's that useful. Um, camera FOV, I change it to the highest just because I, I would like to have that as high as high and see as many people as I can and then the BR mode it's very similar stuff I have auto loot auto open doors on like I said I don't really play um, the BR mode but if I do I'll let you guys know more into that the more, more one of the most important things here is the audio and graphics tab so the graphics tab you definitely want to set your graphics to low no matter what device you have and your frame rate too high um, PUBG, or well not PUBG, sorry, COD, the COD mobile team has done a very good job of actually um, allowing your device to have a good performance while playing COD mobile. I think it's also due to the, the uh, fast uh, pace of the games and the short duration of the games, um, but I set my frame rate, frame rate to high or very high or extreme if that's an option for you. That's not an option for me on my iPad, but I just set it to high and it's a very consistently smooth 60 FPS. Um, as far as what like very high graphics look like, they are going to look better, um, but they're not going to be a substantial difference. And like I said, if you're focusing on playing the game to the best of your abilities, you want to have the high frame rate, consistently high frame rate. Um, and something you can do to cool down your phone, I like to use ice packs personally. I know a lot of people speak about fans um, or, you know, being in a room that's really cool. That one also really does help. So if your um, air temperature in the room is pretty cool, like you want to set your room to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I, I don't know what that is Celsius. I'm sorry. I think that's like 20, 25 degrees Celsius. Um, just something that's cool. So your uh, device can actually have that cool air to circulate around it is also good. Um, but I like to use ice packs if they do get, if my device does get cold during the games, I kind of just put it on the back where it's the warmest and then it'll cool it down as we play. So that's something I like to do. Um, like I said, fans also work well for that. Um, but yeah, that's just something to do that can keep your device as high of FPS as possible. But I, like I said, I know um, Call of Duty Mobile, the developing team has done a really good job of keeping FPS high regardless of your device um, and regardless of how old your devices actually which is nice so as far as audio i just like to keep everything at 100 except for the music volume i don't think it's useful and the ui volume sometimes it's not really that useful again like i said so um i just keep everything else at 100 probably don't need to keep voice chat at 100 so um, i might be changing that later but that's that as far as my sensitivity i like to keep a fixed speed sensitivity just because for me personally, I work better when I have some consistency in um, knowing how far my player model is going to move whenever I aim. Some people like to have um, that factor of being able to flick further. So that's why they turn on the acceleration. So that is something you might want to consider as well. Um, so distance acceleration is like how far you're going versus speed acceleration is how fast you're flicking. So that's just the difference there. I don't really have that on. So that's not a thing for me. Sensitivity presets, I put it at a custom because I want to change these on my own. So I obviously have a little bit higher for ADS and tactical scope but sniper scope I put that a little lower because it's going to be zooming in a little bit farther as well as the firing sensitivity I have mine pretty low as well so it goes down um, in sensitivity as the scope zooms further in like I said on gyroscope and then similar things for BR but I don't play BR uh, BR settings, like I said, I don't really play it but I have these settings if you guys want to pause the video and take a look at them um, but yeah, I, I like to have the first layout in terms of how I kind of customize my vehicle driving. The quick message, I just, I think the default's good for me. And then here are the other things as well. So um, the other, you can actually have your ID. You can see in the bottom right and then your username, which is kind of nice if you ever need that. If they ever ask you, oh, maybe you want to give away, what's your ID? You're like, what does that even mean? It's in the other section of the settings tab. So that was really it as far as um, settings go. I really hope you guys did learn a little bit about the settings and kind of see what works 
for you. I try to give some tips and tricks there. Let me know what you guys want to see more of in the future. I'm going to be trying to upload more ranked games, trying to grind to the legendary status as well as showing some sniper clips and montages. Maybe I'm not the best. Maybe I'm not going to get nukes all the time, but I hope to provide some insightful commentary. Um, maybe that's something I can bring to the table. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all have a great day. Like, subscribe, comment, like I said. Um, if you don't like it, you can dislike it, whatever you feel like doing. Uh, but I really do appreciate those of you who do stick around and do support this channel all the time. So thank you everyone so much and have a great day. Peace out, everybody. Thank you.